How's it going everyone, it is Pangino here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate guide to optimizing your mouse with inside of Windows. This video will be helping you achieve true one-to-one -one mouse movement with inside of Windows, helping reduce or eliminate any micro stuttering you're having with your mouse, alongside reducing your input latency drastically to give you the fastest and snappiest inputs possible with zero mouse acceleration so every single movement you make with your mouse will be the direct input in which the game receives. Not only will this help you build muscle memory to be able to aim better with inside of games, but you'll also notice that your games feel a lot more smoother and snappier and just an overall and how to fully optimize your mouse to ensure that you're getting the most out of the mouse in which you've paid for. This works all the way from low-end mice all the way up to the latest and greatest in gaming mice from all reputable brands. So regardless of your system specs or the mouse on which you are using, we're going to jump into optimizing that now. If you guys are happy with the results from this video and have enjoyed the video, please do leave a like as it helps me out tremendously. Alongside letting me know of your results, questions, queries, tips or tricks you might have in that comment section down below as it is always fantastic to hear from you guys. And if you guys do enjoy this sort of content and wish to stay up to date with the channel, please do consider pressing that subscribe subscription button alongside the bell notification to be notified instantly whenever a new video goes live on the channel. To start things off we're going to be first of all going inside of the basic Windows settings and ensuring they are set correctly to ensure that we're removing any acceleration from Windows. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, then type in mouse space settings. Go up to the mouse settings tab. With inside of this screen we're going to navigate over to the right hand side to additional mouse options. With inside of the tab that opens up, navigate up to pointer options at the top. We're going to first of all come down to enhance pointer precision and turn this off. We then need to set up the mouse pointer speed correctly, so removing all acceleration from the operating system. To do this, simply drag the slider all the way over to the left hand side. And as you can see, we're now on the first notch. We need to set this slider on the sixth notch. So we're simply going to be going in from one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can now see, we're now on one, two, three, four, five, six. Once this slider has been set to 6, we can then navigate to the bottom right hand side and press apply, then press OK. We can then quickly set another optimization setting with inside of Windows to ensure that we're getting the best gaming performance, which will also help reduce our input latency, giving us better mouse movements. For this, navigate to the bottom left hand side, click on the Windows button, this time type in Game Space Mode. Go up to Game Mode Settings, navigate to the left hand side to Game Mode, and ensure that the Windows game mode is actually switched to the on position. Having game mode enabled with inside of Windows will allow gaming applications to take a slight higher priority over other applications which could be running on your PC. We then need to apply a quick optimization to the mouse settings with inside of Windows to finalize our Windows mouse settings. For this, you need to navigate inside of the description down below and find the Mark C mouse fix. Once you've clicked on the link, you'll be brought to this web page found here. To download the fix, it's very simple and easy to do. Simply navigate down to the use this hyperlink click on the hyperlink, download the file and place it onto your desktop. Simply double click on the folder. Once the folder is opened up, we then need to navigate inside of the folder which is titled for our operating system. Inside of the Windows 10 fixes, you'll then see a plethora of fix files in which we can enable. We're only going to be selecting one fix file with inside of here. To find which optimization you need to set on your PC, simply expand the file names by dragging this slider found up here in the top so you can see the entire file name. We then need to find the Windows optimization which matches our screen scaling option with inside of Windows. As you can see, we have all the way from 100% all the way up to 350%. It's very easy and simple to find this setting. Right click any on your desktop, navigate down to display settings. With inside of this tab, simply scroll down. You'll then see your scale and layout option. For me, I'm using 125%. So whichever your number is set to, then find the file which is set to the same percentage your Windows is. So for me, mine was set to 125%. So I found the file, double click on the file, select run. Select yes, yes, and OK, and those Windows registries have been slightly aligned to remove all mouse acceleration from Windows, allowing for a much snappier and responsive feeling mouse. We can then go ahead and exit out of this file. This now leads us onto the part in the video where we're going to be searching, downloading, and setting up our mouse software correctly to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible from the mouse itself. It's worthwhile to take note before doing this that you have your mouse plugged into your PC correctly. If your mouse supports USB 3.0 or 3.1, you can usually find this from the spec sheet. Make sure that it is installed to a USB 3 or 3.1 header, as you'll be getting better performance from this and a higher level of bandwidth. It's also worthwhile to mention that you should remove any USB devices that you do not need plugged into your PC when you're playing games, especially on lower end systems. Make sure to go ahead and unplug all of those unnecessary devices as you're simply applying stress to the USB bus, which you need to be running fast for the mouse to respond correctly. So take a few moments to ensure that your mouse is plugged in correctly. We now need to go ahead and find, install and set up our mouse software. 90% of mice on the market have software available for them, even if they are very low end. The easiest way to discover if there's software available for your mouse is to simply pick up the mouse, flip it over. You should then be seeing the make and model of the mouse. Once you have that information, navigate over to Google and simply input the make and model of your mouse. Once you've put the make and model of your mouse in, simply press spacebar and add software to the end of the make and model, then press enter. Have a look through the search results and you'll more than likely find that your mouse has mouse software available for it. Navigate through the website of your mouse manufacturer and find the download section and download 
download the software. Once you've downloaded your software, whether that be G-Hub, Razer Synapse, SteelSeries, Cooler Master, your software will probably be different to mine, but double click on your software and install it to your PC. After the software has been successfully installed, go ahead and boot inside of the software and you should now have some options available to you. In terms of color and lighting options, feel free to set those up however you wish to do so. The options on which we're going to be looking for for the best performance from our mouse are going to be under polling rate. This can sometimes be titled mouse refresh rate, mouse hertz, USB polling rate, or USB hertz. Every mouse software is going to be different as to where this option is located, so do have a look through all of your settings until you find a setting similar to this. Once you've found the polling rate option, go into the drop down menu and we're going to be setting this up according to our system specs. For those of you running on medium end to ultra high end systems and you prefer the best FPS with inside of games and you want the fastest response rate possible, if your mouse supports it, go with 1000 hertz. The reason we're recommending to do this for medium end to high end PCs is this can be quite stressful for USB buses and CPUs on lower end systems, where you could set this to 1000 hertz and actually run into issues with micro stuttering having this set. If your mouse doesn't support 1000 hertz, that's absolutely fine. Just simply set this option to the highest option available. For those of you running on medium end PCs down to low end systems and below, try going with 500 hertz. And for those of you running on ultra low end laptops and you want the best FPS possible, try going with 250. Once the option has been set, ensure that you apply the option with inside of your mouse software, wait a few moments time, you can then exit out of your mouse software and continue on. I'm gonna take this opportunity to quickly recommend an additional step in which you can opt into if you wish to get the best results. It's very easy and simple to follow along with this step and we're going to be jumping into the Windows registry to simply edit two values to ensure that we get the best performance possible with inside of our games and Windows in general. And to ensure full safety we're quickly going to be setting up a system restore point so we can go ahead and make any changes we want and if we don't wish to keep them or if you're afraid you're going to mess something up you can simply revert windows back to the point in this video before we make the changes so for this we're going to navigate to the bottom left hand side click on the windows button type in create a restore point just like so then click on create a restore point with inside of here navigate down to your c drive once this is highlighted navigate over to configure at the top ensure that turn on system protection has been checked set this slider to about five percent then press apply then press ok going down to the create button. Simply name the system restore point anything you're going to remember. So I'm just going to call this mouse 2020, then click on create. After a few short moments, you'll then be notified that you've successfully created a system restore point. We can then go ahead and press close, then press OK. So jumping into the optimization, it's very simple and easy to do. Navigate to the bottom left hand side once again, type in reg edit, just like so, then click on the registry editor. Once inside of the Windows registry editor, we're going to be navigating down to H key local machine, double clicking, going down to software, double clicking, Scrolling down to the M section, going into Microsoft, double clicking once again. This time we're going to proceed to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the W section and we're looking for Windows NT. Go inside of Windows NT, go inside of current version, scroll down to the M section once again and we're going to be looking for the folder titled Multimedia. Double click on this folder, then click on System Profile once. On the right hand side you should then see a key becomes available to edit titled System Responsiveness. Double click on this key, change the value data to 1, then press OK. We're then going to double click on the System Profile folder on the left hand side, go inside of Tasks, then navigate down to Games. With inside of here we're then going to navigate over to the right hand side, double clicking on GPU Priority, ensuring that this is set to a value of 8, then press OK. Navigating down to Priority, making sure that this is set to a value of 6, then navigating down to our Scheduling Category, double clicking, inputting the value of high, which is H I G H, then pressing OK, and again applying high to the SFIO priority by double clicking, typing in high, then pressing OK. We can then go ahead and exit out of the Windows registry as that optimization has now been applied. Those settings are going to help our game application become a higher priority with inside of Windows and receive more resources, resulting in better FPS, reduced input latency, and much better mouse responsiveness. At this point in the video, it is recommended before continuing on to quickly restart your PC to ensure that all of the registry optimizations software and other changes we've made have been successfully applied to Windows and we're ready to jump on with the last and final optimizations. We now need to tackle the in-game settings themselves and ensure that we're getting the best FPS and responsiveness. We'll need to apply these optimizations on a per game basis. We first of all need to find where the game or games are installed to. For this demonstration I'm going to be using Valorant. These optimizations will work for every single game. I'm just personally using Valorant as a demonstration with inside of this video. So first of all you need to navigate inside of the installation directory or installation folder of the game we're going to be optimizing. In my case I'm going to be optimizing Valorant. My game is installed under local disk C, Riot Games and we can then go inside of the games folder. Once you go inside of your games folder we're going to be looking for the game applications themselves. Once you find the applications or EXE right click on the application, navigate down to properties, go up to the compatibility tab, check the options for disabling full screen optimizations, then navigate down to change high DPI settings, then override the high DPI scaling behavior, press ok, apply and ok. That will disable Windows from using the inbuilt full screen optimizations with 
side of the operating system, which can actually introduce acceleration, input latency, and lower FPS across the board in nearly every single game. For most games, you'll more than likely find that there is more than one application or EXE for the game. If this is the case, I'd recommend navigating back to the main folder of the game, clicking on the main folder, clicking on all of the folders until you're navigated down to the files, then go to the top right hand side to the search box and simply type in .exe, then press enter. This will then bring up every single application or EXE for the game installed in this directory. So as you can see, for me, I actually missed out one of the applications. So I'm gonna right click on this one, navigate down to properties, go to compatibility, disable the full screen optimizations, go down to change high DPI, overwrite the high DPI, press OK, apply and OK. And this now brings us on to one of the most important optimizations featured within inside of this entire video. For this, there's going to be a link in the description down below titled ISLC or Intelligent Standby Less Cleaner. This will link you to a quick and easy two-in-one optimization program, which I'd recommend installing on every single PC you have, as this program is absolutely fantastic in ensuring that you have the lowest input latency possible. So once you've clicked on the link for the program, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find the official download here hyperlink. Click on this hyperlink. The program will then be downloaded to your PC. Once you've done this, go ahead and press open. You can do this by navigating over to the right-hand side, clicking on the three dots, selecting desktop, then pressing OK, then pressing extract. You'll then be met with a folder in your desktop, double click on the folder, then double click on the intelligence standby list cleaner to open up the program. The program needs a minor bit of setup and this is very simple and easy to do. For the first box, you want to have this set to 1024. The second box is going to be set to half of your system memory. You can find this value at the top of the screen found here. So for me, I have 32,000. So roughly half of that's going to be 16,000. We can then navigate over to the right hand side, check the option for enable custom timer resolution. Navigate up to the box titled Wanted Time Resolution and input the value of 0 0.50, then use the delete key to remove the other values, and we're then good to go and start the program. As you can see, my current standby list is taking up 12 gigabytes of my 32 gigabytes on my PC. If I go ahead and press purge standby list to clean that out, I've now cleaned out 12 gigabytes of RAM which my system was using in the background, taking up resources and slowing down my machine. We can then navigate down to the bottom right hand side, select start, minimize the program, and I'd recommend having that open whenever you're playing your games for the best experience possible. And speaking of playing games, that is all we have left to do. So simply find your favorite game, boot into it, and we're going to be going over some of the mouse settings and video options which you should disable to ensure that you have the lowest input latency possible and the best mouse settings. Once you've booted into your game of choice, once again, this doesn't have to be Valorant. This could literally be any PC game. Navigate inside of the settings menu for your game. And we can first of all start off with video settings in which you should disable if they're available to you. For your display mode or windowed mode with inside of your game, you should always have this set to full screen to ensure that you have the best mouse response rate possible. Another fantastic setting which has just become available for those of you running on NVIDIA graphics cards. If you're playing on a game which supports this software and you do have the option for NVIDIA Reflex available to you, ensure that you have Reflex turned on plus boost. This will drastically help reduce your input latency to the game. The basic rule of thumb is if you want the best response rate possible, you need to have the best FPS possible. The easiest way of doing this is by simply disabling and lowering your in-game settings to as low as they can possibly go. If you're someone that boots into every single game and whacks the preset up to ultra and doesn't at least fine tune some of those settings back down to a more reasonable level, by disabling features such as VSync and other post-processing, you can sometimes be left with a worse looking image, but your mouse movements and general inputs will be slow and sluggish and not enjoyable. The main in-game settings I would personally avoid having turned on would be VSync. Ensure that this is always switched to off. Navigate down to your anti-aliasing options. Either use some of the lower end options or turn this off entirely. And for games such as Call of Duty Warzone, most of the settings found with inside of the post-processing tab will be heavily taxing on your CPU and GPU resources, raising your frame times and increasing your input latency. So for an example, for me, if I wanted to set up Valorant for a high-end PC, I would go with high-end textures, high-end details, and for most other options, I'd actually disable them or turn them down at least from the maximum options, as this will give us a much crisper, cleaner image whilst maintaining fantastic looking textures and a great resolution. Of course, this is on a personal preference and a per game basis, so do take the extra time to set up your game correctly for the best results possible. We can now finally tackle the in-game mouse options. Now, depending on which game you're setting up your settings for will depend on how many mouse options options are available to you. For this example, I'm going to be using Call of Duty Warzone, but if any of these mouse settings are available with inside of the game you're running, these settings will have the exact same name. First of all, if you do have the option for mouse acceleration, ensure that mouse acceleration is turned off or turned all the way down to zero. Next up, if you have mouse filtering, also ensure that this is turned down to zero and turned off. And finally, if you have the option for mouse smoothing, also ensure that this option is set to disabled. This will remove any acceleration and smoothing from the mouse, ensuring that you have one-to-one -one raw input from your mouse. Once you have those set, remember to press apply and we're then good to go. And there you guys have it. That is my 2020 ultimate mouse optimization guide. If you guys have enjoyed this video and are happy with your results, please do leave a like on the video as it does help me out tremendously. And let me know of your results and which mouse you're using in that comment section down below. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Panjano and I'll see you in the next one.